everyone. In this video, we will learn how enzymes are produced. Our main focus is the production of extracellular enzymes. There are two types of enzymes, intracellular enzymes and extracellular enzymes. Intracellular enzymes are synthesized inside the cell and used only within the cell. For example, ATP, synthetase, oxidase, dehydrogenase. So these enzymes can be easily found in chloroplast, nucleus, mitochondria, and cytoplasm. Maksudnya di sini ialah intracellular enzyme ni dihasilkan di dalam sel dan digunakan di dalam sel tersebut. Alright? The second types of enzyme is extracellular enzymes. They are enzymes that are produced inside the cells, but they are secreted outside the cells to function externally. For example, the enzyme trypsin that is produced by the pancreatic cells and secreted into the duodenum to break down polypeptides. So, maksudnya di sini ialah extracellular enzyme ini adalah enzyme yang dihasilkan di dalam sel, tetapi kemudian selepas itu, enzyme itu dikeluarkan daripada sel tersebut untuk digunakan di luaran. Okay, so the main question here is how extracellular enzyme is produced. So here is a picture that illustrate the production of extracellular enzymes. Okay, ribosome is the site of protein synthesis. In our cell, to synthesize a protein, we rely on the genetic information that is carried by DNA in the nucleus. The genetic information on DNA is then copied out to make an RNA. So, in the copy. So, this RNA molecule is known as messenger RNA. So, di sini, kalau kita nak buat protein, kita perlukan maklumat genetik kerana setiap protein yang dihasilkan itu mempunyai maklumat genetik yang ber berbeza dengan protein lain. Dalam erti kata lain, setiap protein ni unik. Okay? Jadi, maklumat genetik yang ada pada DNA akan difotokopi okay, untuk menghasilkan molekul RNA atau kita panggil sebagai messenger RNA. Boleh faham? Setakat ni. Okay, then what happen next? The messenger RNA then leaves the nucleus through the nuclear pores, okay, and attach itself to the ribosome on the rough endoplasmic reticulum. The proteins synthesized by the ribosome are then transported in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, dah dibuat tadi, protein dah dibuat oleh ribosome, sekarang masuk ke dalam rough endoplasmic reticulum. Once the protein reach the end of the rough endoplasmic reticulum, the proteins are wrapped in the transport vesicles and bud off from the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Jadi dia tinggalkan dan dia, dan dia pergi belayar. Okay. The transport vesicle then fuse with Golgi apparatus, releasing the proteins into the cavity. In, in Golgi apparatus, sorry, in Golgi apparatus, the proteins are further modified and processed. Okay, nak tambah apa, nak tambah sepepat, okay, pun boleh kat sini. So, what happen next ialah, the protein are then wrapped in secretory vesicles, okay. The secretory vesicles then bud off from Golgi apparatus, tinggalkan Golgi apparatus itu, okay, and travel to the plasma membrane. The vesicles then fuse with the plasma membrane before releasing the protein outside the cell as extracellular enzyme.